Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to apply hill climbing search algorithm to go from initial state to goal state using local and global heuristic function. We take this example where we have four blocks A, B, C, D. We want to go from this particular initial state or a start state to this particular goal state where we are expecting uh, A should be present on the ground. On the top of A, B should be present. On the top of B, we should have C. On the top of C, we should have uh, D in this case. So this is what is expected. Now, if you want to go from this particular uh, start state to goal state, uh, we have to use one heuristic function. Uh, we have to use either uh, local heuristic function where we will consider only the immediate uh, consequences uh, so that we can decide uh, what to do next. Or uh, we have to consider the global heuristic function uh, where we will consider the global information or you can say that what will happen uh, in future. Uh, based on that we will uh, select uh, the operator uh, where we can go from uh, start state to goal state here. So first we will consider the local uh, heuristic function. Uh, in this local heuristic function we will give plus one reward for each block that is resting on a thing it is supposed to be resting on. That is uh, for example uh, we are expecting B should rest on A, A should rest on ground, similarly C should rest on B, D should rest on C. If it is the case we will give plus one. If anything else is there for example uh, in this particular start state only. Uh, B is present on a ground but what we are expecting A should be present on a ground so it will be given as a minus 1. Uh, we are expecting uh, C should be present on B yes it is present so it will be given as a plus 1 and so on. So that is what the local uh, uh, information or a local heuristic function here. So we will try to calculate what is the value for uh, the start state. The start state is it will be minus 1 because it is not present at the correct uh, position here. Uh, for C, C is uh, expected to be present on uh, B and it is present so it will be plus 1. This is also plus 1 but this is minus 1. So the total value of this particular uh, start state is 0 here. Now when it comes to goal state all of them are uh, present on the correct uh, position. Of course they are present on the correct position so everything will be given as uh, you can say that plus 1 over here. So the answer or the value of this particular function is uh, you can say that uh, the plus uh, 4 here. Now uh, using this particular local information we have to go from start state to goal state over here. Now uh, we have to apply some different operators at the start state so that we can go to the goal state here. So first operator is I will bring this particular A to the ground so that is the only option what we have here. Now uh, B is present on the ground that is incorrect position so it will be minus 1. Uh, C is present at the correct position, D is present at the correct position, so uh, this will be given as a plus 1 here. Uh, A is uh, present at uh, what we can say that uh, correct position, so it will be given as uh, the plus 1. Now if I add everything I will get the plus 2 as the answer in this case. Now uh, there are two possibilities are there, either I can move this particular uh, D to this on the top of A or I can move this particular D to this particular ground. Now if I do this particular operator or if I, if I apply this particular operator what will happen we will try to see. If I move this particular D on the top of A I will get the value as 0 and if I move this particular D to the ground I am getting the value as 0. Why? Because uh, B is incorrectly placed, D is incorrectly placed, A and C are correctly placed here. So the value is 0. Similarly C is correctly placed here. A is correctly placed, B and D are incorrectly placed. So because of that we are getting 0 here. Because we are getting 0, 0 in both the cases, we have uh, ended up with something called as uh, uh, the local uh, uh, maximum or can say that a local optimum. Okay, so because of this uh, we cannot uh, go ahead from here onwards. Uh, this is the disadvantage of using a local heuristic function or a local information. Uh, I am not able to reach what you can say that the goal state using this fu function. So what I do is I will uh, use a global information or a global heuristic function. Uh, we will try to see uh, whether I will be able to go from uh, the start state to goal state or not. So in this case uh, again the uh, start state and the goal states are same but the heuristic function is something like this. For each block that has the correct support structure 
the plus one will be given as a, a reward for each every uh, for every block you can say for each block that has a wrong support structure a minus one will be given support structure in the sense uh, the blocks which are present below the current block if if all of them are uh, correctly placed uh, one will be given for every block actually uh, if they are not correctly placed minus one will be given for every block again okay so you can see here uh, below B we don't have anything so it will be zero but below C B is present whether B is present correct uh, position no so it will be minus one below D C and B are there both of them are correctly placed no they are not correctly placed so it will be minus two below A B C D are there all of them are not correctly placed with respect to, to the goal state so it will be minus three so the total value of this particular uh, state is minus six now coming back to this uh, goal state of course all of them uh, are present at the correct p position so below a we don't have anything so it is zero below b we have one uh, node so it will be one here uh, for this one it will be two for this one it will be three here because below d three nodes are there or the three uh, blocks are there all of them are correctly placed here so it is plus six so the intention is to go from start state to goal state that is minus six to plus six here by applying different operators so what i do here is uh, first i will move this particular a to this particular ground now if i move this particular a to the ground b below b we don't have anything so it is zero below c b is present it is incorrectly placed below d we have c and b both of them are incorrectly placed below a we don't have anything so it is zero so the total value of this uh, state is minus 3. Now there are two possibilities are there. Either I can move D on the ground or D on the top of A. Uh, now I will move this particular D on the ground. I will see what will happen. Uh, now if I move D on the ground, uh, this one will be 0. Below C we have one block that is incorrectly placed. Below A we don't have anything so it is 0. Below D we don't have anything hence it is 0 the total value of this particular state is minus one so it is better than the previous one so we will consider it now i will move c on the ground uh, it will look something like this all of them are not correctly placed but be below this particular thing the support structure is uh, not present so all of them are having zero zero as the value so the value of this particular state is zero again it is better than the previous one so i will continue from here onwards now I will put uh, B on the top of uh, A here. So if I put B on the top of A, uh, for A it is 0 because below A we don't have anything. Below B we have one, uh, you can say that uh, the block, which is correctly placed, hence it is plus 1. And then uh, for D it is 0, for C it is 0, so the total value of this state is 1 here. Now I will move C on the top of uh, B. Uh, below A we don't have anything that's the reason it is 0 below B we have uh, one block and it is correctly placed so it is 1 below C we have two blocks A and B both of them are correctly placed it is 2 below D we don't have anything so it is 0 so the total value of this particular state is 3 in this case now coming back to the uh, last one that is uh, move D on the top of C all of them are correctly placed uh, for A it is 0, for B it is uh, 1 because uh, one correctly block is present below B. Below C we have two blocks, both of them are correctly placed. Below D we have three blocks, all three blocks are correctly placed here. So the total value of this particular state is equal to plus 6. So we started with minus 6, we ended up with uh, plus 6 using this particular global heuristic function in this case. So this is how actually we can use either local or global heuristic function to go from initial state to goal state using hill climbing algorithm. I hope this particular concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.